Hi, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Coffee and Conversation right here on Yachting International Radio. My name is Ria. I am your host, and today I am pleased to introduce Julia Rogers from Luxury Hospitality Management. How are you, Julia? I'm fabulous, I think, within these um, strange times. Yeah, but at the moment I'm talking to you, and I'm really happy. Thank you very much. <laughs> nice. Well, thank you so much for coming on board. You guys have remained just crazy busy throughout all this time. Every time we talk, you are, you know, running into this meeting, running into that meeting. So just because you're at home doesn't mean anything has stopped for your business. No, it's just um, a time of change, you know, and we are in a very, um, we're where we are with humans don't like this. They don't like uncertainty. And yeah. So we've been trying to really help people out there to to get hold of it and feel safe and to find ways of coming out of this with some learning experience so that they can really improve themselves and and you know we're going there's going to be a lot of changes when we come out of this this situation um, and I think a lot of them will be really good but it's just getting through this difficult period at the moment and knowing that it's okay to not be okay at times and just um, and just roll with it but know how to pick yourself up and Luxury Hospitality have been focusing on the crew, trying to, we've sent out some activity sheets so that they can, got some ideas of fun things and also learning things so that there's a combination of keeping themselves active and keeping their minds in a positive mindset and having good balance with your mindset so that you know, we know how to change it when you, when you go down to that place which you don't feel very good. So, yeah, we're busy. Well, so, well, your, your title at Luxury Hospitality Management is Head of Insight. Now, that's not really a title that you see in many companies world over. So can you explain what that title means? Well, insight means to have a greater understanding of something. And within this case, within Luxury Hospitality, uh, we're all about people and looking after people. And insight in this term means to have a greater understanding of self. Because when you have a greater understanding of self, you then can learn how you, what your challenges are and what your strengths are. You can, you can forgive your challenges. You can be kinder to yourself about your challenges. And you can look within your team who can support those challenges that have them as their strengths. And then with your strengths, you can really focus on those and, and be more, much more productive, much more powerful and feel good about yourself and be in what we call in a term of being in flow, because when you're in flow, you're in the path of least resistance. It's the, it's the area where you feel good. You know, you're challenged enough to be stretched and feel that you're learning and feel that you're doing well without getting into the anxiety mode or into be, feeling bored about what you do. So great understanding of self. And once you have that, you have a great understanding of others. So it sounds like what you do is you mentor and you help people figure themselves out and you help people to find those weaknesses and strengths to make them even better at what they do then. Yeah, so we start off, we have a 360 philosophy within uh, luxury hospitality. So it starts off with this understanding, it starts off with insight. And we have a personality tool, which we use, which finds out where you are inherently energetically so when we're born we're born in a certain energy there's we, we live in an energetic universe on an energetic planet and we are all energetic beings so if we can find out where our strengths should be focused because as children you know i don't know what it's like um in canada but in, in england all the uh, children here they're, they're kind of told to focus on their things that they find difficult so Children are asked, you know, if they're not so good at math, they have to have extra tuition. If they're not so good at English, they have to have extra tuition. What would happen if we saw these children, these beautiful little beings, and, and saw their strengths and said, play into that? You know, I know there's a curriculum that we have to stick to, but if they could just do that but focus on their strengths, the confidence would skyrocket. And confidence is key in life. You know, if we're confident in ourselves, we, we really deal a lot with mental health problems, with stress levels, with everything, if we are confident. So confidence and communication is key. And that's what we use uh, Tunnel Dynamics for, to really find out what your strengths are, encourage you to play into those strengths. And as a team collective, when everybody does it, everyone realizes why people behave the way they behave. 
So then you start to get that acceptance and that tolerance and that number one factor that we all need is trust. And well, I have taken this test, but mm -hmm. we're going to get into that in a minute because we're going to go through that and um, I, we're going to tell the world exactly where my weaknesses lie. <laughs> Not so sure about that, but... <laughs> They don't like calling them weaknesses, it's challenges. <laughs> right, my challenges, which there are a few. Um, what got you into this? What brought Julia from, you know, where you started to working with luxury hospitality management in this capacity? Well, I think I've always had a calling uh, to be in teaching and training. And um, I love people. People are my, this is why I find this really quite difficult, being on my own. Luckily, I've got a dog and a horse, so I can, um, give, they can give me energy, but I miss people. And I started off as a riding instructress, so I took all my teaching qualifications to, to um, mentor and train horses and people. And I work very much with how they feel, how, what they're feeling when they're riding, so that they, um, it becomes a, a much more holistic wholeness of the horse and rider. And... I soon realized that that wasn't really very healthy for my bank balance. Mm -hmm. So I got a proper, a proper job uh, working in corporate IT as a teacher and trainer again. And I was teaching um, classrooms of ladies, can show my age now, coming off electric typewriters to word processors. And it fascinated me, um, the psycholo psychological fear fascinated me because they were terrified. And I had classrooms of ladies crying because they were coming off one machine onto another machine and they didn't understand that machine. There was, there was a very uncertain area around that. And again, as we know, humans like certainty. And so this led me into a, a path of, um, of psychology, really, really being fascinated with that. I ran my own online business in personal development for 10 years. And, um, and that, in turn, you know, your journey goes through. I was introduced to a lady um, who created, wrote some books on energy management. And um, I went through all of the qualifications with her and we, I became an energy coach. And we did workshops and um, ran one-to-one uh, -one coaching with different clients. And then I met Peter Vogel. I was introduced to Peter. And I don't know what it was, but something told me, I believe you should go with your gut instincts, something told me I had to work with this man. And um, I don't know what it was, but I basically chased him for a year via email. <laughs> and But I'd never been in the um, super yacht industry. I'm a sailor, but I've never been in the industry. But I, I am used to high net worth clients. I've been working with high net worth clients for quite a long time. And... Um, Eventually, I heard that he, has, he had this tool that he was using, which was a per personality profiling tool based on us as energetic beings. And I asked him if I could take it. And I came out exactly where he needed somebody, which is um, what we call blaze energy, which is all about people. And my profile name is a supporter. And a supporter is somebody that um, teaches and trains and coaches and looks after the team and um, it's people person. So I was very fortunate, and, um, and that was three years ago. So I've been working with Peter now for three years with Luxury Hospitality. We have an amazing team, and the reason they're an amazing team is that they all have such empathy, and there is such love within the team, and we love to help people. You know, we really want to help people be the best versions of themselves and create that positive workforce culture, which helps people feel well and feel good. So, um, yeah, that's been my journey so far. <laughs> well, I mean, it's amazing because every single one of the team that I have talked to, um, you know, over the years, everyone is absolutely stellar, whether they be. You know, and, and another thing about this test, too, is that it, it sort of shows those that are introverts and those that are extroverts. and. Um, it, it's it's amazing. I, I have to say, I, I was sent the test and I was sort of looking for something that I thought it was going to be this, you know, 
writing essays or, or you know, multiple choice. I, I, I thought it was going to be more, but it was really simple. It was like, I was like, how are they going to figure anything out about me with these questions? And, you know, I warned that it would take 15 minutes. And I mean, I know myself well enough that it actually took me maybe about three minutes um, because it was like the questions were like very simple. It was like, you know, just check. And, and I did. And then I was like, I, I don't know, I guess we all are sort of skeptic, I think, at some stage. And I am probably one of the biggest skeptics that ever walked the face of the planet because I find it hard to believe in anything that I can't put my hands on. <laughs> and so I came across this and then they sent it back. You sent it back to me. And oh, wow. I was just absolutely flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. Like, you've got my readings up there. It's it's funny because, you know, even the balance that I have of being an introvert and an ext extrovert, yeah. it's it's quite fascinating to see. Like, I, do you have my figures in front of you? I do. Yes, you are. So we have four energies that we work with. Um, Dynamo is all about creativity, ideas. And it's really interesting in this time where we're in lockdown, um, somebody who's very, very creative can be busy, busy, busy coming up with all these ideas, but they may not have their team around them to help them to put those, those ideas into place so that they can keep coming up with the next shiny idea. What's interesting with you is that you have 44% dynamo, which is, means you are very creative, but you also have on the opposite end of the, um, the tank dynamic square, you've got 28% tempo, which again is above average. And tempo is all about um, timing and detail and getting everything done. So it's all about fairness and it's that, it's that putting the detail in there to get those ideas done. So you've got, the ideas are coming and then you go, right, now I've got to get them done. And you can do that. So it's, it's really good, what we call an hourglass um, uh, profile you have. But then you've also got 16% blaze which is Blaze is the people, and you are very split between your introverted and extroverted side quite evenly. So I remember I said to you, do you like to re-energize on your own or with people? And you said, yeah, a bit of both, really. And that's totally de depicted by your graph. And then you've got 12% in the steel energy, which is all about systems and processes and, again, getting those things done. And although it may, may not be your strength and you may not love it because you've only got 20% there, you'd still be able to do it. But if I said to you, would you like to spend all day doing processes and systems and spreadsheets? No. no. And <laughs> rather exhausted by the end of that. Um, I did let you into that secret when we had the chat the other day. Is that um, I have, I have, I have blaze energies. It's all about people and relationships. Um, but I have zero in steel, which is... It always um, makes my team laugh because they don't, don't give that to Julia because she hasn't got any, any energy in her steel. That doesn't mean I'm stupid. It just means that <laughs> if I spend all day on this computer not talking to anybody and doing spreadsheets and numbers, I'll be exhausted. Yeah. So it's, but I can spend all day teaching and training and being with people and I will be totally energised because that's my natural strength. Yeah. You said that it's a very simple, that's what I love about it. I've done all of these psychometric tests. This is so simple. And it's about us as human beings, who we inherently are. From the moment we, well, probably even from conception, we are inherently energetic beings. So to work with that and the ancient philosophy behind it is, um, yeah, it's a very useful tool. It definitely is because, you know, I have to say, like, it, I, I was very shocked and taking a look. It was funny because we had never met and we still haven't met, by, but just only via this. We had never really had much of a conversation. And after I took this and we sat and chatted for about an hour and a half, actually, on that first conversation. And you literally took me through who I was and everything that you said about me. I was like. And even the, you know, the good stuff and the bad stuff. <laughs> um, it was a shock to me that you were able to pinpoint my personality and, and my strengths and weaknesses so very easily over something so simple. So I can imagine that this tool 
is fantastic when you're looking to create a, a good team sort of dynamic or whether you're looking to create a crew on board, especially considering that a crew on board is stuck together 24 hours a day, seven days a week, sometimes for six months at a time. Um, you need to make sure that every single one of those entities um, mix, you know, well, not like vinegar and water, but mix well. Yeah, I mean, we've, we, you know, we have, um, we use this a lot with recruitment, funnily enough. Um, it's a very useful recruitment tool, not only for high profile um, candidates, but also for, um, I often get on a three-way call with um, either a captain or a chief stew and the candidate. So that then I can pull out these, the questions, being a coach, I can pull out these questions that that the captain or the chief stew or the chief engineer or the chief officer needs to hear. And it gives a different dynamic to just a, a CV or an interview. So a CV can be embellished, an interview can be acted, whereas this is your inherent core values, strengths and challenges. And you can't hide those. I once did um, a debrief, so we offer, a, a, once you've taken the test, you can have a debrief for an hour with either myself or my, my partner, Lynn, and um, they, you work through it. And I once did this, and this lady said, that's not me at all. That's you, it's just not me at all. Not at all. And as we got halfway around, half an hour in, she leant forward and she said, who are you? <laughs> because <laughs> said, you've kind of described my inner thoughts and feelings that I don't normally express to anybody and her life experience had led her to be out in front more of a blaze energy person out in front doing um, presentations and sales because that's what her life experience had led to her but she was actually much more of an introvert so she was quite tired all the time because she was doing that as her job and when we got round to talking about the steel energy and more of the tempo and steel where it's it's much more about research and working on your own, a little bit of shyness in there and going through processes and systems, she could do that standing on her head and she could do it all day long and stay energised. So she realised that she loves her job, but she now she says, when I'm tired and I feel I've had enough, I, I can forgive myself for feeling those things because... It's not my natural inherent strength. Yeah. So it just, it's an, it's an amazing awareness tool that helps you understand yourself and others far more effectively. And then you can speak different people's language. You can speak to an introvert in a different way or speak to an extrovert in a different way. And you get that connection at a far greater level. Well, I mean, I can also imagine that that would work in, in say, a mentorship program and the fact that you're taking, say, an ultra high net worth individual um, and they are trying to become better in their business or better in their personal life um, and they're looking at the things that they need to work on. So this can actually be used as a tool, not only for understanding others, but for understanding self. Oh, it's hugely powerful for understanding self. And actually acknowledging it and accepting it, accepting that actually, you know, you, you're not that great at that, but you're really good at this. And you can have, some people have um, a very much of a, a broader spectrum, so they can be more even in all the energies. And we call that a square profile, not square as in boring, but square <laughs> as in boring. And it means that actually they don't really lose energy anywhere. They can do anything. But often these personalities have never really found their niche because they're they're okay at everything and they'll say I've, I've never really felt that good at anything particular and so this this understanding as well made them feel good about themselves because I said well you're good at everything and oh okay yeah and it may give them clarity so it, it gives those those things that we love as human beings clarity in what we understand about ourselves and about others and, and if you can mix that with becoming more emotionally intelligent so that you can really understand how to talk to people and understand where your emotions come from, remember how you can press the pause button so you, you don't react to things, you can wait to respond so that you understand somebody may speak to you in a certain way. It's not that they're being horrible it's not that they don't like you they just that's the way they speak because most people speak the way we want to speak 
But if you can understand how to communicate and speak someone else's language, it's an incredibly powerful communication tool. Well, I can I can guarantee you that because I've been able to, you know, I have done a couple of interviews with the luxury hospitality team and, um, you know, it, it, it did prove a very valuable tool for me. Mm. Yeah, and I, I really was appreciative of it. It's almost as if I wish I, I could have that for absolutely everybody that I ever talked to on the face of the planet. But I think that would be probably not likely. <laughs> We've already said, haven't we? Whoever else you interview within luxury, luxury hospitality or anybody that's done this test before, it'd be really useful for you to have their graph so that you can think about the questions that you ask them in a certain way that will pull out more information. And that's how it is so useful, is pulling out more things about someone's personality so you can get that better connection. So if somebody wants to find out about this test or they want to access your services, how do they go about that? So they go on to luxuryhospitalitymanagement.com, mgm.com. Uh, we have a separate page there where you can just take the test and uh, you'll get your report instantly. And then with that, you will get an hour's debrief with either myself or Lynn to go through and show you that pathway of how it can be used to create the best person of yourself and how you can use that to speak to people in a different way and how you can use it to, to raise your professional level to a different height. So it can be used in all sorts of different ways. And um, then the rest of our, all our services are on the website too. Well, what are you guys doing right now? Now, I mean, as I said, just going into the interview, you guys are busier than you've ever been. Um, what is it that you're offering right now for everybody out there on, on in the luxury industry? Okay, well, we have um, an Insight online course, which starts on the 27th. So we have um, a four-week program, two hours a week, which goes through uh, talent dynamics, communication, psychological safety, how your brain operates and thinks. So really giving you greater insight into yourself. And we also have a um, personal leadership program that's out there as well, which is on the website, which is all to do with using the Covey material, Stephen Covey material, which is highly effective in creating personal success. Well, that's amazing because right now, I think, you know, a lot of people are looking to take that time to just add that one thing to their resume that makes them look just a little bit better than the others, the rest, or even because they are in lockdown somewhere, whether they be locked down on a boat or if they're locked down at home, um, they're having issues with themselves. You know, we're all facing some sort of psychological issues. So to have, you know, something to focus on and some tools to cope, I think is absolutely brilliant. And I think luxury hospitality is offering that. Yeah, I mean, you've got to think that this is a very, this, we've never been here before. And there is a form of a collective grief going on worldwide. You know, we have a loss of freedom, we have a loss of income, we have a loss of seeing our families. There's, there's a lot going on. Of, and, and if you think about that all over the world, how that's affecting, energetically affecting us all. And we're all dealing with it in different ways. You know, a, a dynamo person will deal with it in one way, a blaze, they'd be really freaked out about it because they're on their own. A steel person, much more introverted, won't mind it quite so much. And the tempos would be getting the house spotless and getting everything done, but they'll be really worried about, you know, the, how everyone's going to deal with deal with this and how the world is going to cope with it. I'm, I'm almost sick to death of those tempos, I tell you right now. I, I, I am just, you know, these pin interest moms and these people that are baking everything under the sun every single day and they're, how, you know, they're talking about planting this garden that could feed a million people and on and on and on. And I am lucky to wake up in the morning at 7 a.m. and go to bed at like 2. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, stop, you know, homeschooling and working. And they're, I'm like, no, but I can't. <laughs> yeah. Be kind to yourself, Ray. You have to, it's really, really important at the moment, particularly. We're always, we should always be kind to ourselves, but it's incredibly important now for our mental health to be kind to ourselves and make sure we have that, that balance of thought. So it's okay if you feel shitty one day, that's okay. But know that you can turn it around another day. So, you know, it's going to go like this. One, yeah. one week will be okay, we're accepting we're on our own. The next week we'll be going, oh no, of course, when am I, when? when? It's this uncertainty, when is it going to end? We don't yeah. like uncertainty, we like certainty. And we haven't got that in the moment, at the moment. So it's really important that we, 
we stay vulnerable and stay connected and stay communicating because let people know emotionally you're not you're not feeling great then you'll get help you know don't sit there and hide it under the carpet and pretend that everything's great there's always something that can be done to make yourself feel better but if you need help reach out and get it well, Julia, thank you so much. That is the most amazing advice. And I would recommend anybody out there to contact Luxury Hospitality Management and use their services if you are indeed an entrepreneur, an ultra high net worth individual looking to further yourself professionally, um, or even if you're looking for a crew, or even if you just want to find out about yourself, you know, during this time, I would really encourage it because the insight that it gave me about myself um, and the acceptance too, do you know, because it it explained a lot of things that I was not sure of. And it also showed me that it was okay to be that person. Good. I love so that. thank you for that. Yeah, it was wonderful. So I would encourage everybody to do that. Thank you again, Julia, for your time. It was really appreciated. Oh, thank you so much. I've loved it. I've loved all my conversations with you, Rhea. It's been really good. But just <laughs> everyone out there, take care of themselves and take care of each other. Because this is a time that we've never had before and I think this is around for a while so we've got to look after each other and make sure we all stay on the right track exactly exactly once again Julia Rogers from Luxury Hospitality Management Head of Insights you have been watching another edition of Coffee and Conversation right here on Yachting International Radio my name is Ria Rao I am your host we'll see you next time